Hello and welcome back to Palm Tree News. My name is Andrew, I'm joined by Chris, and we'll be covering the news that we found interesting today. Capcom's mobile puzzle fighter game is already being shut down. The title launched in late 2017, and while there are many cash shop options, the gameplay brought in both old and new fans of the series. Today, Capcom announced that the game will be shutting down after less than a year of operation due to a shift in focus for the developers. The team who headed this project was the Capcom Game Studio Vancouver, who are now looking to focus more on the Dead Rising series. This news is super sad for anyone who loved the idea of having Puzzle Fighter on their phones, but luckily the game won't be disappearing immediately. On July 1st, the game will be removed from all app stores and the service will be shut down on July 31st. Today, they will be giving all players 10,000 gems, which is the in-game currency, and making all upcoming characters and stages free until that date. What I didn't know was Dr. Wily was also in the game, and he will be made available today, while other characters will be made available next Monday, April 23rd. Capcom is known to simply abandon a project if it isn't working out the way they expected, but that doesn't make the complete loss of a title in the Puzzle Fighter series any easier. The soundtrack for Bethesda's Doom is getting a vinyl release. Distributor Laced Records is releasing a standard double vinyl LP, a special edition four vinyl set, and a limited edition box set. The box set looks really great and includes a turntable slip mat with the Doom logo on it and blood red vinyls, as well as the CD release of the soundtrack, which will also be available separately. Doom had an absolutely incredible soundtrack composed by Mick Gordon and even won a game award for best music and sound design in 2016. It's the perfect thing to throw on in the background when you want to get out some aggression or just relive memories of slaying demons across the landscape of hell. The Doom soundtrack on vinyl is currently available for pre-order from Laced Records website and is set to release sometime this summer. Nintendo somehow managed to get Bill Nye to play with their Nintendo Labo. With the official launch of the Nintendo Labo upon us, Nintendo has begun big moves to get the cardboard-based game sold out. Its latest commercial features everyone's favorite scientist Bill Nye, who honestly looks like he's having more fun than selling a product. During the video, they show off the really cool vibrating cars, fishing pole, and something I didn't actually know was a feature. Using the Nintendo Labo, they created a function that allowed the cardboard piano input on one key to trigger the rumble on a car, so essentially teaching whoever is playing with it cause and effect or input-output. The Nintendo Labo seems to be full of surprises and I'm super happy they were able to get the great Bill Nye to play along with their toys. Hearthstone director Ben Brode is leaving Blizzard to start a new company. Brode had worked at Blizzard for 15 years, starting as a game tester until joining Team 5, which would eventually develop Hearthstone. Brode announced his departure on the Blizzard forums, stating, quote, To my friends, co-workers, and the Hearthstone community, after 15 years at Blizzard and almost 10 years working on Hearthstone, I have made the incredibly difficult decision to embark on a new journey. End quote. He also stated that he was leaving in order to help start a new company, about which he stated, quote, We'll probably make games, but we haven't figured anything else out yet. I'm looking forward to designing, programming, and actually creating things again. End quote. While it's a shame he has to leave behind a game he put so much into, Ben Brode seemed confident about what the future holds, and given how well he did with Hearthstone, I look forward to whatever it is he has to offer, and wish him the best of luck at his future endeavors. Well, that's all the news you found interesting today. Feel free to share any awesome gaming news you may have missed in the comments below, and we'll see you guys next time.